Hi, welcome to the Newfoundland and Labrador Waterfowlers. Hunt for us online. I'm Ken Griffiths with today's tip of the week, knapsacks. Folks, there's a lot of knapsacks on the market today that are outstanding knapsacks. I got a few here that I'm going to show you that I have and the reason why I did buy these knapsacks. First of all, I'd like to start with the smallest one I got. This little one here, I use for fishing in the summertime. When May 24 kicks in, this is on my back all summer long. The reason why I've chosen this one when I bought it is because it's small and lightweight. When the summertime kicks in and it gets hot, you don't want a big bulky knapsack on your back. It's only adding to the weight to you and it's only adding to the sweat and the heat that's going to kick in when the summertime is in full swing. It's got two little compartments in it, one in the front and one in the back. One I use for my fish and one I use for my grub. And a little compartment that's on the front right here, a little bit ragged and torn, is um, I use for my first aid kit. So I'll never go without my first aid kit. The straps, they're just two basic straps on it. This one here is my coyote bag. And the reason why I use this for my coyote bag because it's got nice big compartments so I can store my bullets again on the face of it. My first aid kit goes on the front and all my little gear and trinkets I got up here for my collars. Up top up here I keep my license and that and it's nice and deep so I can store a chair into it and a small blind, believe it or not. And uh, it's pretty good. It's just got your two basic straps on it. It wasn't all that expensive either actually. The next one I, I have here to show you is a fairly big one actually. I'll tell you why it's big. This is my Sea Duck one. The reason why I picked, I chose this one because it's got great pouches on the side from, for lots of shells on both sides. Big pouch on the front for my first aid kit. Up top, up here, is where I can store extra gloves, hats, and it's nice and long, as you can see right here. And I can store about six decoys into it, a chair, and a small blind, believe it or not, in this knapsack. And in the back of this one, as you can see, it's got great padding. Good padding for your back, good straps for your shoulder straps, and straps to go around your waist. And it wasn't all that expensive. It was a good buy, actually. The last one I'm going to show you is my duck and rabbit knapsack. This knapsack is a two-in-one, and I just purchased it not long ago, and it's phenomenal, comfortable on my back. I couldn't believe how comfortable actually the bag was. Um, a two-in-one, you might ask. Top is a knapsack, bottom part is a fanny pack. And, and it was ideal because I didn't realize it was a fanny pack until I actually bought it home. It got great pouches on the sides, here and here. Great pouches down below. You can store drinks on the side here. Good bungee cord here to store my, uh, my blind. And inside here, I can store about four docks, which is really good. And actually on the bottom front here is where I store my first aid kit. But the best thing about this one is, it's got nice soft shoulder straps on it, which is something that you're going to be looking for when you're out duck hunting and rabbit hunting, because you know rabbit hunting that you're going to be doing a lot of walking. And on the back, it's got a super cell pad, here, here, and right here. And on the fanny pack, it has the exact same thing. It's ideal. I'd recommend this one for anybody. So that's my knapsacks. I hope it helped you out in buying your next, your next one. And they're great to have and comfortable to wear. And that's my tip of the week.